I bought nearly all the shorts at Lululemon to do the ultimate shorts try on haul and comparison for you guys. Let's break down all the shorts at Lululemon so you can find out which ones are best. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby. Thanks so much for stopping by. But as you can tell by the title of today's video, we have a giant shorts try on haul and comparison video with almost all the shorts at Lululemon. I say I bought probably like 90% of the shorts to do a ultimate try on and comparison for you guys. With summer right around the corner, I wanted to get this video up so you can determine which short might be best for you. I always recommend buying your shorts early in the season because they tend to sell out and we never know when they will restock. By far this is the most shorts that I've ever purchased. I think I have like 25 pairs back there. Probably won't be keeping them all but I did want to purchase most of the styles or at least the core styles and the more popular styles. I did try and grab all of the shorts in corresponding colors that I could. However some items were sold out so I did the best I could but there is a little variation in the colors and unfortunately I couldn't get every single style of short as well. I think they might be phasing some of the hottie hots and speed ups out and they were just sold out in my size but hopefully this gives you enough of a foundation to kind of make the best judgment for yourself. I'll have everything linked down below in the description for you along with my sizes that I tried on in this video but if you want to know everything about Lululemon shorts then just keep on watching. Starting us off we have the Align short. This is made from their Nulu fabric which is that classic buttery soft that we have all come to know and love. It is intended for light intense activities. So things like yoga, Pilates, light walks, things like that, because it is a more delicate fabric that is a little bit more prone to pilling and snagging. But for the shorts, I did pick up all of the inseams. So starting us off, with the two inch inseam and you guys these are definitely itty bitty you know that they're small because the rip tag of these is actually showing through the actual short i would agree that yes these are extremely short and i feel like they do write up into the gusset quite a bit i personally am not a fan of these i just feel like they are way too short and cheeky. I did get a size four in the color Nomad. Again, they fit true to size. They have a nice smooth waistband and it is seamless at the top here. Nice and high rise, which I do like about the Align shorts. However, I just feel like the actual inseam of this one is way too short to be practical for anything else other than, you know, wearing under something for me. Now, maybe if you do hot yoga or something like that, Maybe that is the intended purpose of this, but personally, I just feel like these are way too short for me to be comfortable in. So that is that one. Then they move up to the four inch inseam. And now I don't mind this length, but I will say that the line shorts are a little bit prone to riding up slightly. So I do find that the four inch turns into more of a three inch. And for that reason, I wouldn't probably wear these like out in public at all. Maybe these are an okay home short or you know, kind of lounge short, but for me, I don't know, I just feel like these aren't as functional as some of the other lengths personally, but I do like this length if I was just lounging around the house. I do still think it is flattering. If you maybe have a shorter inseam or shorter torso, this might work well for you. And it has all the same features as like the Align legging, the Align pants, just in a short version. And then the same as the two inch. It does have a hidden pocket in the waistband of all of the Align shorts here as well. But that is the next inseam length. Then we probably have my favorite is the six inch Align short. I find that these are the perfect length. They're not too short and cheeky, but they're not too long where it kind of hits awkwardly. I have multiple pairs of the Align short in the six inch length. I do get a size four. This is the color iron blue, which again, I really like. I thought I had a pair of true navy, but apparently I don't that fit. So we are going with these ones. Again, I love these for summertime. For walks hanging out in they are nice and lightweight and just so so comfy that I live in these in the summer so if you like the Align pan definitely check out the Align shorts and for me six inch is definitely the winner out of all the inseam lengths 
But moving on, we do have one more length in the Align Short Collection, and that is the 8-inch one. This is more of a true classic biker short length, I feel like. It is definitely longer, and I don't really love where it hits on me. I find it cuts me off at a weird length that it kind of makes me look short. And I'm already short, so I don't want to look shorter than I am. But otherwise, these are pretty good. Now, Lululemon does do free hemming technically, so if your size is sold out in maybe a 6-inch and you can find it in an 8-inch, they will hem it to a 6-inch or whatnot for you, so that is a hot tip. Otherwise, I probably would not go with the 8-inch length. Again, all the same features as the rest of the Align Shorts, but just in a little bit of a longer inseam. So if you're wanting more coverage, definitely give these a try. All right, moving on to our next style of short, which is the Wonder Train. Again, these are going to be a tight to body slash biker short style. So they do come in different inseam lengths. Let's start with the shortest one, which would also be two inches. Again, these are pretty itty bitty and way too short for my personal preference. Now, these ones are made for training. So they are made from a fabric called Everlux, which is going to be Lou Levin's fastest drying fabric. It is great for working out and it does have a dual sensation. So it's nice and soft and buttery on the outside like the aligns but on the inside it's got that sleek and cool feeling it does have the draw cord in the waistband here as well and a hidden pocket in the waistband this one does because it has the elastic in it it has a little bit more of a band to the top i would say there's no like actual stitching right here at the top which is nice but I don't know, for me, I think that these would be functional to wear maybe under a dress or a flowy skirt, or if you play something like beach volleyball where you needed a shorter short, would be the more appropriate times to wear this. Otherwise, I just don't really have a purpose for a short that is this short. But again, I did get a size four and this is the color Nomad. So that is the first length. And then in the Wonder Trains, they also do come in the four inch length. So I did get the same color in these, so you will be able to tell more side by side like i said these shorts are high rise so they do offer nice coverage now the one thing about the four inch length is i do find it cut in just a little bit kind of in the legs for me and i don't know if that's just where they hit on me and kind of like i don't know my body shape and type but for that reason i didn't find them as comfortable maybe as some of the other lengths of shorts but overall it is the same as the two inch, just obviously a little bit longer. Now I don't mind the four inch. Again, I think this would be a little bit more comfy to wear under a dress or skirt versus the two inch, which I feel like would still ride up a little bit, or these ones aren't gonna be so short in the gusset, but like right up into the gusset there. You know what I mean, so. There's the four inch. Then we have the six inch short. Again, I feel like inseam length wise, these are probably my favorite. Now, I don't think that this color was necessarily that flattering on me when I tried it on. I feel like it doesn't do my skin tone any favors, but I did want to get all of the same color for the try on. And that was the color that was available in all of the lengths almost. So these are probably still going to be a return for me. But if I was to buy Wonder Train shorts, I would definitely be purchasing the six inch length. Again, I feel like they are more of a good length. I also find that these ones don't cut in as much as the four inch ones. So for that reason, I would recommend probably the six inch length. And I just feel a little bit more covered and confident in this length if I was going to the gym and working out. So probably the six inch is the winner. The one thing to know about the Wonder Train shorts as well is that they are going to be more compressive because they are made for training. They're going to have a little bit more of a hugged slash held in sensation than the aligned shorts so do keep that in mind i still get a four between the aligns and the wonder trains which is true to size for me but some people do like to size down in their lines and then size back up to their true to size in the wonder trains so they do have a little bit of a different feeling than your aligned shorts but for me i still go true to size for both but depends on how you want to feel in them we also have the eight inch length only had black in this version and again I feel like these are really nice maybe if you cycle bike something like that where you know you meet need a little bit more coverage kind of down the leg here or if you're just looking for a longer length of short but all the same features as the other ones just in an eight inch inseam length but like I said with the aligns I just find that this is a little bit of an awkward length for me that I don't really love where it hits so that is all of the lengths in the wonder train shorts but the Wonder Train shorts also come with pockets, which actually I really liked this style of Wonder Train shorts. So this is a six inch inseam. Like I said, six inch was my favorite, but the pockets here are a little bit more of a like meshy 
material so they are still nice and breathable even though they have like technically an extra layer of fabric on top of the pockets i didn't find these too compressive at all where they were cutting in and actually i really thought that these would be functional for me because if i was out for a walk maybe on a hotter day or a more intense walk i guess hike kind of thing i did like that they had pockets so i could put my phone or my keys or something and still be hands-free especially with a baby i feel like pockets are very handy i don't know some people i feel like are for pockets some people are very against pockets on shorts like tight to body shorts like this but personally, I really like it, and if you do need pockets, then I think that this is a really good option. It does technically fit my iPhone 14 Pro Max into the pocket here, there. So you can see that it is a quite spacious and generous pocket, which I do really like, but that is everything for the Wonder Train shorts. All right, and our last kind of biker short style is the Fast and Free shorts. Now, I feel like they didn't come out with these last year but they brought them back this year so I wanted to pick them up to give them a review. They are pretty much the same as the fast and free tights if you're familiar with those but in a short version they are designed for running so they are going to be slightly more compressive than the wonder trains as well. They do have a sticky grip on the inside of the short here at the bottom so that they stay in place because this is a laser cut so there's not a seam at the bottom here and then they are made from a fabric called new Lux, which combines the lightweight sensation of nulu with the cool sleek feeling of lux dream so these are quite lightweight but quite sleek and slippery feeling a question i often get is if pet hair and lint will be attracted to the material and with the aligns and wonder trains i would say yes but with these ones because they are more of a sleek material i find that pet hair and lint is a little bit more repellent to them which is nice so again a good option if you do have pets at home they do have the little side pockets as well as some reflective detailing here again because it is made for running so really great to have that for safety and then with the fast and free shorts as well I'll take them off they do have multiple pockets around the waistband here so if you were to have you know little gels or whatever keys and stuff more pockets in these ones they also have the interior draw cord and for me actually these were surprisingly a win they are a six inch inseam which i do love the length of six inches and i found that the grips actually helped them stay in place quite well i did give it a little test in the living room here just a few squats and kind of walking back and forth and i found that they stayed in place pretty well like better than the aligns and better than the wonder trains due to the grips so i do like that especially because they are like nice and lightweight as well i think they would be a great alternative to a summer short personally i'm not a huge fan of this color called larkspur i think it was a little bit bright for me but it is kind of fun if you are a runner i feel like it would be a nice pop of color to your wardrobe overall i'm really actually impressed with these shorts i wasn't sure if I was going to like them or not. I would probably wear these like on a walk as well, even though I'm like not a runner. If you are and you do it in the summer, I think these would be also great for potentially hiking as well. But definitely check these out if you do activities outside in the summer. All right, moving on to our more training shorts. The first style here, I feel like is probably the most popular out of them, and that is the Hottie Haunts. This is the low rise two and a half inches. They used to make a low rise four inch as well, but unfortunately those are all on markdown currently, and they didn't have any in my size. So I wasn't able to get a hold of the four inch low rise version. It would just be an inch and a half longer if you can still find them on markdown or secondhand. I don't know if they are phasing them out or re designing them or what's happening but I did get a size 4 in the color strawberry milkshake here and this is probably one of my favorite styles of shorts this is definitely the one that I own the most of especially for like a training shorts this is the only style I own I just love the waistband that's kind of extra elastic -y. I do find that really comfortable I love the kind of silhouette on the side that is like a little bit of a mesh kind of silhouette it does have the interior draw cord as well however I would say I am not a fan of the low rise they were not not as bad as I thought they were going to be but they are pretty itty bitty and I just feel like postpartum 
I'm not really digging it at the moment. I think that these would work maybe as a maternity short to fit below the bump if you were expecting or looking for something maybe as an alternative. I think that these might be a good option, but for me, I just feel like this amount of material is just a little bit too short to be comfortable in, especially like always having to bend over and pick up a baby. I just feel like these ones are a little bit too short to be comfortable for me personally, but it is a really great option, especially maybe if you do have a shorter inseam length. It does have a little zippered side pocket here as well to fit any small cards or keys, but these ones are really great just as a summer casual short or as a workout short as well. The Hottie Hots also do come in a high rise, so I do have the two and a half inch in strawberry milkshake and the four inch in espresso here. So let's start with the two and a half. Again, all the same features. This is probably my favorite short from Lululemon. However, I do feel like I am starting to gradually transition to the four inch length just as a mom. And, you know, like I said, chasing a baby around, I feel like the four inch gives me a little bit more coverage, but I do feel the two and a half inch is a little bit more flattering on me personally. The same details, it is just a little bit of a higher rise. I wouldn't say that this is a true high rise, however, this does just fit below or just comes up below the belly button for me. So it's not like a true high rise. I would almost say that this is more like a mid to high rise. And then these also do have a liner in them, which I do find it kind of makes it a little bit tricky for sizing because of that liner. So if you do have more of a muscular build on the lower half of your body, I do find that these ones are a little bit tricky because like the waist to like liner ratio makes it a little bit difficult to find a good size that fits. But we'll get into some other styles that maybe would be a better fit if that is your body shape and type. But for me, I don't really have that. These ones work really well for me. And then here is the four inch and you'll be able to see the difference in length on the try on. But like I said, I'm gravitating towards kind of more of the four inch length right now. I get a size four in all of these. It does have the same features, that nice elastic waistband with a draw cord on the inside and then the little side zippered pocket as well as a little reflective detailing and kind of the mesh side paneling here as well. This is probably my favorite short from Lululemon and I always bounce back between the two and a half and four inch. Honestly, I could do both. I don't know if I really have a strong preference one way or the other right now, but like I said, different purposes. Maybe if I'm at the gym, I'd go with the two and a half, but if I'm at home being a mom, probably the four inch. All right, the next style of short we have here are the speed up shorts. Now I have not tried these in a hot minute. I used to own them a long, long time ago and I felt like they just started not to fit the best. So I actually ended up selling them and I haven't tried them since. So I picked up two pairs. These are the speed up high rise in the two and a half and the four inch length, both in a size four in the color windmill. They used to make the speed up shorts in a low rise and mid rise, but same with the Hottie Hot, low rise four inches. They are currently all on markdown and sold out in my size. I don't know if they are phasing these out or redesigning them or what's happening there, but unfortunately I was not able to purchase to try them on for you. Stay tuned if we ever see those come back or redesigned, I will have to do an updated video. For now, let's chat about the ones that I do have here. Here. And actually, I was pleasantly surprised by the speed up shorts. I personally like the two and a half inch a little bit better than the four inches. I thought before when I tried these on the high rise portion, like the band here is really large and thick, I found. And I thought that looked awkward, like proportionally prior to this. But when I tried this one on again, I actually really liked it. Now these ones do also have a liner in here. So same with the hottie hot shorts. I do find these a little bit tricky for sizing if you do have a more muscular build on the lower half. It does have the interior draw cord as well as a hidden pocket in the waistband on each side of the um, short here. And then it also has a zippered pocket in the back, which I really like. It does have this kind of paneling down here for breathability and I actually really liked this design as well. I thought that was quite flattering. Like I said, I did find the two and a half inch length a little bit more flattering. Honestly, I would probably go ahead and purchase more colors of these. I'm probably going to keep these ones for sure. I am leaning towards keeping these ones because I was surprised of how much I liked the fit. And then these are the four inch ones, exact same details and features of the short, obviously just an inch and a half longer. I do feel like these ones did not fit as flattering in the back. They kind of just 
hung off my body where like these ones kind of gave me a little bit of shape I would say and these ones did get kind of wide I would say down towards the leg so I didn't love the way that the four inches hit and I just feel like it was a little bit of an awkward length for me personally but if you are taller I think that this would be a nice inseam option but overall I thought that these shorts were actually really comfy and I will definitely be looking to add some more two and a half inch speed up shorts to my collection in the future and I was surprisingly delighted by these shorts. Moving on to our next style of short is the track that. These are the high rise five inches. This style also comes in a three inch version but unfortunately they were all sold out like in every size almost so I wasn't able to purchase those ones for this video but you can imagine them just two inches shorter and these ones are really good if you do have more of a muscular build I would say because it does allow for more room, especially like in the legs here. I do find that these ones were too baggy and flowy on me to the point where it just was not flattering for my body type personally. But I have seen a lot of people rock these and I would say, yeah, if you have more of a muscular build, these are probably going to be a little bit more flattering and a better option than like the Hottie Hots and Speed Ups. It does have that nice elastic -y, stretchy waistband and then the interior draw cord as well, which is great. It does have the side zippered pocket over here on the side of the shorts. And then this is what the back looks like, nice and plain and simple. I would say that I would probably like the three inch version of this a little bit better, but the five inch was just like a really awkward length for me. If you are looking for a longer short with more coverage, then obviously this is going to be a great option for you because it is five inches. I think this is one of Lululemon's only women's short that comes in five inches. They are nice and high rise. I do find that these ones hit a little bit higher then the Hottie Hots, which is great. They do have the built-in liner in here, but I did find that this one was slightly more roomy maybe than the Hottie Hots. Like I was saying, again, if you are more muscular, it probably will be a better option for you. I got a size four in these in the color Army Green. Um, I love this color, honestly, but the style of short just didn't work for me personally. The next style of short we have here are the Fast and Freeze. These are high rise and a three inch. These are designed for running, as you can tell by the reflective dots on here. I really wanted to love these, but I think this is another short that just doesn't fit my body type that great. They are nice and loose and flowy. They give you a great range of motion because of the high slit to the side here. Pretty like plain and simple otherwise in the back. They do have the interior draw cord and then they also have a little drop-in pocket in the back for your keys or a small card or something like that. And again, I feel like these shorts work best if you have a more muscular build on the lower half of your body, especially because it gives you so much room. They do have the built-in liner in here, but like the track that shorts, I do find that these ones um, were a little bit like looser and more forgiving than the Hottie Hots and Speed Ups. So if you are looking for like a little bit more room, I found that the liner in these ones were a little bit more comfy. And I would say that these ones are a true high rise. They did come up and over my belly button. So where they sat was really comfy for me. I know that this style of short is really popular and every time Lululemon drops a new color, they sell out pretty quickly. So if you do like these shorts or are interested in trying them, definitely jump on. On it. I do find that this style is pretty flattering but for me personally I just feel like they didn't flatter my body type but otherwise I think that these are a really cute style of short. I did get a size 4 true to size this color grape thistle. And the last short in our training short section are the license to train shorts. Again, this is a really great option if you are looking for a longer short, something with a little bit more coverage. As the name suggests, these are designed for training. So these are actually made from a abrasion resistant material. So it, it does have a little bit more of a rough kind of texture to them, but it's by no means like itchy or rough when you wear them. They do have two side zipper pockets and then obviously the drawstring to do it up at the waist. Find the waistband sat nice and flat against the skin so I do really like that. It does have a little locker loop in the back I guess so you could either put a towel through here if you're training or kind of hang them as well if you were you know changing clothes. Now these are quite a flowy and roomier short I would say almost to the point where I would 
somewhat be inclined to wear a shorter pair of wonder trains underneath this potentially but they are quite comfy and obviously you don't have to do that they do provide enough coverage so i don't think that they would be too short to the point where you would have to be worried about anything but also for me personally i just feel like they were just a little bit wide in the leg and kind of flowed out a little bit on me they would be nice and roomy for training i think this would also be a great summer short and a great hiking short as well so lots of potential for these but personally just not one of my favorite styles kind of the more classic board short fit i do see the potential for these these shorts are high rise and they are a four inch inseam as well i did end up getting a size four which again is true to size for me another cool detail about these shorts is that you can actually flip these drawstrings to the inside like some of their joggers and stuff so there is two actually holes back here that you can re-thread this drawstring through and it will be on the inside so if you are training or something and you don't want these in the way or just if you want to style them without the drawstring then you can also do that which i think is a really cool feature and is super helpful if you are working out and you don't want these to come untied and like get in the way get snagged get caught in a piece of equipment so if you're looking for maybe a longer short with a little bit more coverage then definitely check these out all right, we are finally moving on to the casual short category. The first pair I have here are the Utilitech Relaxed Fit High Rise Short, and these are a three and a half inch inseam. This is the color Topetastic, and I did get a size four, but as the name suggests, these are quite relaxed fit, and I did find that this was too big for me, so I would recommend a sizing down from your true to size because they are quite like relaxed while that's like okay for the silhouette of the short i did find the waistband still a little bit too big for me personally so potentially size down in these the utilitech fabric is kind of made more to feel like a denim ish material i do love the pleats on the short i feel like it has lots of potential to be styled and dressed up and these would make like a really cute kind of lunch date outfit a i don't know casual kind of running errand outfits and i feel like they are like really versatile from day to night it is more of like a twill i guess feeling they are high rise like i mentioned i didn't find the the length too bad however they were because they are like quite roomy and oversized i just felt like these flared out at the legs really awkwardly and it just wasn't flattering for me so i don't know if a size down would be a lot better much better more flattering TBA, but if you are looking at these shorts, I would recommend probably sizing down at least one size. It does have two front pockets as well, and then this is what the back looks like. Nice kind of square pleated pockets in the back. The inside of this waistband is also Nulu, so it feels nice and soft against the skin. It does have kind of a button and fly closure to them. So the button kind of slides and then it obviously has like the little zipper here. So nice and secure as well, which I really liked and kind of gives it more of a dressy classic feel. But they are quite oversized and a relaxed fit. I definitely see the potential in these, but unfortunately it just didn't work out for me. Moving on to our next short, which are the soft stream shorts. I feel like these are pretty viral right now on TikTok or at least the soft stream line in general. And this fabric, honestly, it feels like a peach fuzz. It is so soft it feels kind of like a teddy bear or like a nice soft velvety blanket these are high rise and in a four inch length i did get a size four in the color mojave tan which i feel like is the perfect kind of neutral color now i do know that there are concerns about water stains on this fabric and me being with a six month teething baby i feel like these are maybe not the most baby friendly shorts at lululemon for that reason i've kind of stayed away from the soft stream line in general but i do think that these are so flattering i think they'd be great for loungewear casual wear they would be great for the summertime the one thing that i didn't love about them is kind of the draw cord here because i had to cinch it up a little bit i found that this kind of sticks out awkwardly and i wish that this like laid flat or that this was on the inside or something so that the short was a little bit more seamless it does have a nice elastic -y waistband to it though so nice and soft it does have two side pockets here and then the back is just kind of your classic soft stream 
look but pretty much everything about the soft string pants basically in the short version these are four inch in length which i do find is a really nice flattering length not too short but not too long as well all right the next pair is one of my favorite shorts and that is the inner glow these are made from a french terry material so they are nice and lightweight the perfect summer casual short i think that these are so flattering they are high rise and a three inch length I do find that they are maybe a little bit more on the cheeky side, but not like too much. I love the way that these look. It has a nice kind of drawstring to tighten them up and a nice elastic -y kind of waistband. It has two side pockets here. And this is what the back looks like. This is the color Mojave Tan, and I do size down one size in these to a size two because I do like them to fit a little bit more fitted in kind of the glutes area where I find the four was just a little bit too loose and flowy. So you could size down one size or stay true to size. I do think that they fit nicely true to size because like the waist I could probably do a four, but I didn't love the silhouette of a four so i do size down one size in these to a two because they are a little bit more of that kind of relaxed fit so up to you if you want to size up size down whatever on kind of the way you want these to fit but these are probably one of my favorite shorts for the casual section from lululemon i have multiple colors and pairs of these and i can't wait to pick up more this summer all right, moving on to our next pair of shorts here. These are the Cinchable Waist High Rise Woven Short, three and a half inches in a size extra small in the color Mojave Tan. These are kind of more designed for like work, travel, casual wear, and they are a nice lightweight kind of, as they say, woven material. Um, it almost feels kind of canvasy almost. It has a nice kind of elastic waistband with the drawstring here to cinch it up. It does have two pockets on the side as well and it does have the buttery soft newly fabric on the inside of the waistband so it does feel like nice and soft against the skin when you're wearing it i do find that these are definitely more of a relaxed like classic to relax fit it does have a lot more room kind of down the leg into the thigh here for me so for that reason i could maybe size down to the extra extra small however i'm not sure if that would get too tight in the waist here they do have kind of little slits in the side as well just to give extra mobility i definitely see the potential in these shorts i feel like you could dress them up or wear them casually and i do feel like that these would be really nice for traveling in as well because they are so lightweight and kind of just like flowy i don't know i feel torn about these shorts whether i like them or not i think i would have to try them in a size extra extra small just to see if that size would be better or if i should stick with the extra small i feel like maybe i might be in between sizes for this one i don't know if these really like flatter me let me know down in the comments what you think of these shorts <laughs> moving on to our next style of short another one of my favorites in the casual category and these are the dance studio high rise short it does have a three and a half inch inseam i got a size four in mojave tan and I feel like these are the perfect casual short. You could also dress these up for the summertime. They are made from a lightweight swift fabric. So kind of almost more of that like track panty ish feeling, but not so like sleek. It does still have a little bit of a cottony soft feeling to them. This color specifically is lined because it is a lighter color, but if you went with black, navy, any darker color, they're not going to be lined. So keep that in mind. Lighter colors will be double lined for coverage. They do have nice, generous pockets in the front. I do find that this length is also really flattering. Kind of just looks like the dance studio pants, but in a short version. And they do have the, obviously, the drawstring to cinch it up. I definitely love that these ones are high rise where the dance studio pants and dance studio joggers are the mid rise. For me, these are definitely a go to casual short for the summertime. And I think that these would also be like a great little beach cover up if you wanted to throw these over a swimsuit or something. I think that it would work well for that. Definitely a staple for me in my Lululemon summer wardrobe. I highly recommend checking these ones out. We are almost at the end, but moving on to our next style of short. These are the scuba shorts. I feel like these are a really great casual lounge sweat short. I did size down to a two in these, but I think I would probably stay with my true to size four. I did feel like that these were going to be like oversized and baggy, so I didn't want a truly oversized fit. So that's what made me initially size down. But I mean, I could do the two, but I think the four would be a little bit more comfy. That being said, these are so so comfy 
This is the Heather Core Ultralight Gray Color. It has the drawstring. It basically looks like the scuba joggers, but obviously a short. They are high rise and a five inch inseam. They have nice big pockets here in the front. They are described as a relaxed fit, so that's kind of why I wanted to size down, but I don't think that they are too oversized and relaxed like some of the other shorts. However, I do love the kind of soft fleecy interior. These are so cozy. Obviously, because these are a sweat short, they are not going to be great for a hot, sunny summer day, but for those transitional periods or even for a cooler, rainy day, I think that these would be so perfect as a nice little comfy lounge short. Definitely will be interested in picking up more of these. I hope Lululemon comes out with more colors as well this summer. As you know, Heather Core Ultra Light Gray is one of my favorites anyway, so I probably would stick with this color regardless, but highly recommend checking out these scuba shorts. And last, but finally, Finally, not least, we have the ribbed soft stream high rise short two inches. Now, for me personally, I definitely feel like these are on the short side, just like the other two inch shorts I have showed in this video. The soft stream does have a nice like ribbing material. It is the same kind of peach fuzz soft as the other soft stream shorts. I got a size four in these. These are technically black, but because the soft stream material is kind of more of a soft brushed, Material, it does not show up as a true black. Obviously, you can tell between my Swiftly and this, this is more of a dark, like charcoaly gray almost than the like true black. For me personally, these are definitely not a love. The one thing I did like about this that I wish the regular soft stream shorts did is it doesn't have that weird kind of draw cord in the middle of it. I do like that this waistband is nice and flat and it kind of doesn't have anything to it so I really liked that about these otherwise I just feel like they are a little bit short and I don't really love the ribbing detail to it so for me personally these are not a win but I do see the potential they do have nice big side drop-in pockets as well nothing to cinch the waist so do keep in mind but I do find that these fit true to size for me that is our last pair of shorts which obviously brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more lululemon content leave me a comment down below on which style of short is your favorite or which style of short will you be trying for the summer as I mentioned I will have everything linked down below in the description so be sure to go check that out and thank you so much if you do decide to shop with my links. And I hope you guys found this video helpful for picking out shorts at Lululemon for 2024. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!